What's going on everybody? Today we are doing a cleaning of the Smith & Weston SD9. Um, I've shot this thing quite a bit here recently and I need to get it cleaned. Um, I try to clean them as often as I can. Normally after every time I go shooting. But uh, if I know I'm going to go right back to the range, I just give it a quick wipe down and uh, make sure it's all clean and ready to go. So, let's get into this. This is going to be a little bit of a two-parter. We're going to do a breakdown of this thing and then we're going to do a cleaning. So, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, obviously, make sure there's nothing in the chamber. You don't want to be shooting yourself like an idiot. So, we're all clear. Everything's good. Go ahead and release the slide forward. You're going to pull the trigger. Click. Release. Then you want to pull your slide back just a little bit. Not very much. Just a little bit. And I kind of hold it back here with one finger. Then you'll pull these two takedowns back. She's ready to go. So now that you've got these two pieces taken apart here, really main thing, you've got your spring and your guide rod. So you'd be cleaning those. And then you've got your barrel. Now as you can see, she is dirty. So we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and uh, ready for the range. Now besides regular gunshot residue, you are going to have, if you carry every day, you're probably going to have some lint and some other things. Um, it's just kind of the beast of the burden here. So um, you'll want to make sure you give everything a good thorough wipe down, clean everything. I lube anything that moves. Um, I work on vehicles, so the general consensus is... If it moves, it needs lubed. Cool? All right. Glad we're all on the same page here. So, let's get into cleaning this thing, shall we? Now, before we get started and anybody starts bashing on anything, everybody does stuff differently, okay? So, I'm going to probably clean mine different than how you clean yours. But, a general rule is get the entire thing clean. Um, I'm not going to be running... The actual brush through the barrel um, I'll probably run a bore mop through it it's not that bad and just call it done I will be taken to this to the range within the next day or two so I really don't see a sense in doing all of that and it's really not too bad so you can say oh you need to clean it every time this and that however you want to do it it's your own way so I do it my way others do it their own All right, so I'm going to start with one of these. Uh, this is just regular Winchester gun wipes. Remington wipes work good. Whatever brand, it doesn't matter. They're all pretty much the same. And you're going to give everything a good wipe down. I mean, just get in there nice and good. You can see how dirty she is already. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you get all in there. Now, these do have some lubricants on the actual towelette as well. So, kind of does a two for one, cleans and lubes. You know, it's always good to have lube. So, all right. Now, if you can see that spring, she is awful dirty. So, what I'll do is I'll put some cleaner on there, um, probably blow it out real good just to make sure there's no extra gunk, and uh, yeah, get this thing all clean. No matter what, you're going to have those hard to reach places to get to. So what I suggest is using a little brush. Because, well, they work the best for getting in these small little areas. Sometimes it can be very, very tedious. So I like to give it a little brush down. Just make sure I'm getting all the crud and gunk out of there. I don't want anything inhibiting the firearm from working the way it's supposed to. I like to just clean everything because a clean gun is a happy gun. Alrighty. 
Got her all cleaned up. Now we'll move on to the slide, then we'll hit the barrel. And we'll be all set. Cleaning the slide is a lot easier than cleaning the uh, lower half here. This is a lot easier to access. Sometimes I like to get Q-tips and I will put some of that CLP cleaner on there and really go to town. But like I said, I'm gonna be going back to the range anyways. There's a little pin in here, you see that? So I'll push that guy in as I'm cleaning it because there's a lot of buildup around it. So just kind of work your way in there. Get the brush where you can. You can see she is dear Tay. I always try to make sure I clean the sides on here really good. Just go ahead and give everything a good wipe down. And we will clean all up around that firing pin as well. Because you know that's where all the dirt is. Well, at least a good portion of it. Looking pretty good. Now on this, there are a few things that I lubricate, but as soon as we get done cleaning, I'll show you that here. All right, on to the barrel. We'll be using a little bit of uh, this CLP cleaner, break free. This stuff works great. I've never had an issue with it. It's a lot of carbon buildup on here, so I'll be using this clean this sucker out like I said I'm not going to be using uh, The actual boar snake. I will leave that because I'm going to be going to the range anyways So I'm just going to give this sucker a good wipe down Hit it with the brush a couple times Make sure it's good and clean and then we'll get this thing back together Already got the spring wipe down and the guide pin, so that's all set. Everything's good there. Finish up this barrel. This will be ready to go. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put this thing back together. We're going to get the barrel in here. Make sure you've got it the right way up. It says 9mm. That's where it's going to go. Right in there. All set. Put your spring. Now you want to put this in the right way, so you've got this end, and then that end. This end is going to sit up against the barrel, and this will go right here. So, a little push, looks like it's in place, Give it one more go. So you don't want it sitting on the bottom, you want it sitting right here. Alrighty, so we've got our slide all set, barrel's in place. I'm going to set this. We've got two guide pins here and here. It's going to lock onto the back side of your slide. All the way back. And she's ready to go. Alrighty, she is all set, ready to go. Give her one quick wipe down, wipe off any excess lube. Make sure you get all that off of there. I don't want anything slipping on the trigger finger there. So make sure she's good and clean. 
nice and dry. And uh, she is all set. So, like I said, if anybody has any questions, throw them in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. So I'm in the middle of making this video. And I'm sitting out in my garage, cleaning my guns, and next thing I know, I just hear all this PA noise. And I like, couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Next thing I know, I just see police just flying down the street. I'm like, okay, I've got to check this out. So, of course, naturally, me being a nosy person, I've got to go check it out. And I went out, and I guess there's some dude, he had a felony warrant, um, ran into another house, barricaded himself in there. Uh, I've got video and everything up on Facebook if anybody wants to see that. It was pretty wild. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. The suspect was detained. He is in custody. No problem. They did have to breach the house to get in. But other than that, everything was great. So it took me a little bit to make this video just because I had to stop and check everything out that was going on. So, yeah, there's that. And, uh... See you all next time. Thank you for watching. We really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button up in the corner, and we'll see you next week. Have a great one.